everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. Oh, dang, Justin be like, hey everyone, like what? that's loud. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> no, but that's okay. I'm excited to He's eat excited. this. He's excited. He's <laughs> excited. Let's get to the taste test. That's all I want. That's all I want to do. <laughs> because today we're doing apple fritters with vanilla glaze. It, you guys, it's good. I tried it already. So let's go ahead and get started. So here's what you'll need, all-purpose white flour, three Granny Smith apples cut into small pieces, whole milk, cinnamon, two eggs, salt, baking powder, sugar, and vegetable oil. And then for the glaze, you'll need powdered sugar, vanilla extract, milk, Butter, we're gonna melt that before we mix everything together and salt. And then of course, since it's apple fritter and you're deep frying it, some oil, I'm already um, heating up the oil in a pan and a large bowl. So in a large bowl, you're gonna place your all-purpose flour, baking powder, I like mixing it with a whisk, salt, sugar, cinnamon, Mix that really well. And now you're ready to add your milk. Then you're ready to drop in the eggs one at a time. Then you're ready to add the vegetable oil. Give it a good mix. Now we're ready to add the green apples, the Granny Smith apples, and just add all of them all at once and mix it in. So in a bowl, you're gonna place your powdered sugar and then I'm gonna gradually add the whole milk. We're gonna just gradually add it and mix. I'm just gonna do maybe half for now, right? And then we're going to add the melted butter, the salt, it's looking like a good glaze, but we don't want it that thick, right? So we're going to just keep on adding milk to the consistency that we like. But for now, let's keep on mixing, adding the vanilla extract. It's looking good, but I want it to be a little thinner, so I'm going to keep adding a little milk. This looks perfect because I just want to like get it right on the apple fritter for later. So this is perfect, you guys. All right, you guys, it took a while for the oil to heat up, but it's ready. So here we are. Let's do our first drop. That's looking great. I'm using an ice cream scooper to drop it, but you can do it by the spoonfuls or you can do it however big or small you want it. But I think this size is great. It's gonna take about five minutes for these guys to be completely done. And you're gonna wanna make sure you flip them over too. So when it starts to look a little golden, that's when you know you can kind of flip it over and give it a few more minutes until it's nice and golden. Like two more minutes. All right, you guys, you're gonna know it's done. You can open it up or you can just tell because it's looking nice and golden. So if you don't have a rack like this, you can just always put it on a plate with paper towels to absorb the oil, you know? My favorite part, let's glaze this, you guys. So here we go. Oh, that's so beautiful. Glazing is my favorite. Yes, so pretty. Go cray, however much glaze you want. Nobody can tell you how to live your best life. So if you like a lot of glaze, do you. And high five, because I do too, high five. <laughs> There we go, friends. And, and I'm not done. We need to glaze it one more again. Let's do this. Oh, 
glazing is so fun. I wish I could just be a professional glazer. All I do is this. That would be so fun. There we go, friends. Now we're ready to get the taste tester to enjoy this delicious apple fritter. Upon picking it up, it feels nice, nice consistency, doughy, mm -hmm. smells amazing. I'm getting the glaze in the bottom because I'm not trying to waste it, you know? Oh my god. I know, right? Oh my god, this is incredible. Mm, 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 it is mm. so fluffy. Mm. The apples are like perfect. I don't really, I would never eat a Granny Smith apple. Unless it was in a dessert, I think. It's just not my type of apple, but it like tastes amazing in here. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect, it's like kind of like a little bit mushy because it's mm. but so but so like firm. Yeah. The dough is perfect. It's not, you know it's funny when we were cooking this, I, it kind of looked like a beignet. Mm -hmm. You know, like when we went to this cooking class and I mean we made beignets, but like this is incredible. It's so doughy and the glaze. I can actually really taste kind of the the uh, the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. um, accent in there too. We could have added more. We could have added a little bit of cinnamon too, but like mm -hmm. with the vanilla glaze, it's just like, and I'm so, I'm just so impressed. I, I don't, I'm like. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys, I mean, while I was like just grubbing, I had two already, you guys. And also when you, don't waste the glaze, go under, go under, go under and get some, like that. You no, know, but for yeah. real though, like, Mm. I don't know what my expectations were because you know what my expectations are is like the donut shop, right? Donut shops are bomb. But this is way better. Like way better than the donut okay. shop. I like it as no. The same you know way. why? Let me tell you why. The donut shop apple fritters they have like three little chunks of apples in it. That's they, true. they do not have That's like. That's true. It was like this was like sixty percent apple, fit forty percent dough. Almost. That's true. That's. True. That's why it tastes incredible. Like thank oh, you. It's so good. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, mm. friends. Give it a try. When Justin be closing his eyes, you know this is the recipe for you. Like, you know this is the one you need to try. Anyways, oh thank God. you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. See you next Tasty Tuesday or Thursday Thursday, whichever it is. And I hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> Bye. I feel like I've been, mm. like, transported to, like, an alternate universe where I'm, like, all, all the things in life are delicious. Mm, mm mm. But isn't that our life though? We like to eat. That's true.